go slip on a trip Don't slip on a trip What's up, besties? Welcome back to another video on my channel. I look a little greasy because I just got out the shower. Welcome back, besties, to another video on my channel. I'm just going to go ahead and stop here. I had to film this video mainly on my phone because we were out and about. But 23 weeks was definitely, hmm, it was a week, okay? It was a week. I got a little sick. So I'm going to go ahead and roll the footage of that day. I am currently in the doctor's office because it is time for my 23 week checkup i mean it's not an actual checkup by the week but it's my monthly checkup for october so here we are in the doctor's office me and the baby girl she's like hiding under my baggy shirt i don't like this outfit because it doesn't look like i'm pregnant but um i just put something on comfortable because it's cold outside and hopefully y'all can hear me um we are here to have our monthly checkup it'll be his first time meeting the midwife that will potentially be birthing not birthing baby girl that will be delivering baby girl because as you know it's not guaranteed that your midwife is going to be there when you're in labor but i'm hoping um i'm super excited for this appointment today because yesterday y'all i was out for the count honey like i was very sick um i'm gonna assume it was chipotle mix which was pregnancy stuff all together but definitely chipotle that i ate or the cheesecake factory i don't know what it was but eating out did me dirty yesterday so i was throwing up i threw up once and it was a huge projectile vomiting type it went everywhere it went on the wall it was like everything i literally just ate and then i also had diarrhea all day yesterday so I ate like bread and rice and coconut water and water all day. I had like one peanut butter and jelly. So I was like worried, like I'm not eating enough for my baby girl. Like what's tea? I can't hold nothing down. But they said I would have been, I was fine. Cause I had reserves, but we're here today. I'm gonna let my doctor know that. And I haven't ate an actual meal yet today. So um, I don't know, but. <laughs> Definitely gonna eat something a little heavier today because my baby girl needs to eat. <laughs> my baby girl needs to eat. See, I'm waiting on my doctor to come in. The 14th is Tuesday. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. That seems very soon. <laughs> just set up my next doctor's appointment right now i come to the doctor once a month to see my midwife but when i get into my third trimester i think it's like every two weeks every two weeks i'm excited for that but my doctor is very far so yeah i need to check the november 14th date but it's a tuesday so that's the day that we like to set our appointment so we both can be here but yeah, yesterday, y'all, I was out for the count. I slept a lot. I was just so tired, exhausted, weak, all of the above. But today, I feel a lot better, which is good because I was off yesterday and I'm off today. So I go back to work tomorrow and we start conferences. So I really needed these two days to get it together because the parents are already messaging me and I'm like, I'm not even at work. So y'all gonna have to hold that down. <laughs> but yeah. We are probably just gonna get some information this visit and I know I have some upcoming tests like the glucose test and what else is it? Let's see. Uh -oh. Yeah, I know we have like the um, glucose test coming up and all the other like big important tests. So my hair is like super oily. I don't think I have any blood work or tests done today, but you never know. Ew, I look so, this is so ugly. All right, I'll see y'all when my doctor comes in or afterwards, cause y'all know I'm scary.
All right, guys, so finally leaving the doctor's office. We had to wait a little bit longer because I had to, I told y'all I got my maternity papers together. So I submitted those and they like, basically are getting everything ready for my maternity leave. So that's super exciting. And y'all, my next appointment, I will be in my third trimester, which is literally in November. And then after that, I'm gonna have to come every two weeks. So it is so, it's getting real. I'm so excited. Oh yeah, I wanna be my third trimester, y'all. Next time I come to the doctor, I'll be 28 weeks and I'll be in my third trimester. Don't play with me. We're about to get some food. Some food, uh-oh. food and some water doctor basically went over my anatomy scan results and she said baby girl is doing good everything looks normal so that was amazing news because i don't know i got nervous about the anatomy scan because you know you can find out certain things that you don't want to know but everything was good with that so today is days later from the doctor's appointment i am getting dressed i could just got dressed um relax okay i feel like i'm moving a lot i just got dressed for the day today is saturday i think october 21st i am 24 weeks pregnant now last week i mean the days ago i was 23 now i'm 24 weeks pregnant so me and my baby girl are growing and flowing this is her in some sweatpants and honestly y'all i have not worn I have not worn sweatpants or pants in months, but um, I'm just gonna wear this till I go buy a new dress because I feel most comfortable in dresses. Just because there's nothing on my belly and I know after I eat, it's gonna be over with. My baby girl needs, needs room to move around after I eat because it be feeling real tight. So a lot has happened. Um, Today is my baby cousin Tara's birthday, so I need to run to get her a gift. I need to eat. I have my food in the oven. I want to grab a smoothie, stuff like that. But y'all, it is getting so close to my work baby shower. Um, my coworkers are throwing me a work baby shower. It's going to be at my complex, but I'm so excited and I'm so grateful that they want to bless me and our little family with things for baby girl. I was out Monday and Tuesday of um, teaching because I was not feeling good and I came back in and I told my sister I was going to get her some lobster fried rice because she always like she makes sure the classroom is together when I'm not there she always got my back she just I love love my she's not my assistant but I'm saying assistant because y'all don't know the term of an instructional clerk it sounds like what is that so I just say it in that way, but I want to show y'all what she got me because I came back in on Wednesday after being sick and she had this cute little gift in my desk chair and I was like, okay, baby girl, a gift. People thought, my kids, my students thought that I went and had the baby. They kept asking, Ms. McKinney, did Miss Brown go have the baby? Like, did she go take the baby out? And then when I came back, I was like, is the baby still in there? I was like, yes, the baby's still in there. So it's so cute. They love, my students are so excited for baby girl. They always talking about her. One student made a bracelet for her and they're like, I think the baby's sleep right now. I think the baby's dancing right now. So it's so, so cute. All right, so I'm gonna show y'all what she got me. Um, this is really making me want to hurry up and buy the dresser and her dad is buying the dresser, but I was about to impulsively just buy it last night because they had this one on Amazon on sale, but I'm gonna pump my, Alexa stop, I'm gonna pump my brakes and I'm gonna take my blessings, okay? I just be impatient, but, um. And it's like right now, y'all, I feel like I'm getting into that nested mode because I'm getting more things for her. I want her stuff to be organized. And I also just feel like November, December is going to fly by. And January is like really the time where I'm going to be full term. So I just really feel like I'm in early nested mode and I'm already a super preparer. So I've been like thinking about like, oh, how is this going to work out with the dresser, with the room situation? My boyfriend's like, chill. Okay. Chill. But I, 
I do like things to be prepared ahead of time and just to know what's going on. That's just me personally. That helps my mind. That helps my, that helps my, um, what is it? Productivity. Cause if I got her dresser, I can go ahead and start putting this stuff away. Uh, of course I'm gonna wash it closer to her being here, but I just feel like I need her stuff to be in her area and I need it to look like my baby girl is coming over here because I didn't even really show y'all the apartment. I feel like I'm talking a mile a minute, but it's honestly because I haven't really been up to date with the vlogs because I'm officially out of content. And now the vlogs that you guys are seeing are in real lifetime. Like I'm actually 24 weeks and I'm probably gonna be 24 weeks when you see this. So uh, I feel like I just haven't told y'all a lot and now we're up to date and y'all are on this exact journey with me. So let me clean the camera a little bit. My neck is getting so darker. I'll say this every video. And I literally just scrubbed it in the shower. Pregnancy stuff. So I'm going to show y'all the room. I'm going to show y'all the apartment, what we got so far. And then I'll show what baby girl has. Okay. Okay, so we're going to start at, at the front door. All right, so when you first enter, that's the door. My mom put this picture up for me. To the left, we have a coat closet. And this closet is gonna come clutch when it's time to get more baby shower gifts. I still have to put some pictures up. My boyfriend's shoes and stuff, yeah. We gotta get the organization together because we just have it in there right now. But yeah, we have the front door and then over there is our kitchen. This is a maintenance closet. I love our kitchen. It is huge. Let me turn on the light. I've been cooking it up in there, honey. I love cooking in my new kitchen. I have so much space. So we have our little areas where we can eat. These two little areas with our same bar stools. And then this desk chair, I was going to put it away because I don't think we really have space for our desk to go over there. Um, but I might just keep it here just in case it's an extra seat. It's not in the way. So over here is our kitchen area. We have our fridge that has water and ice on it. Our super deep sink. I gotta wash dishes before I get back or when I get back. I love my sink. It's so easy to wash dishes. It has like the little buttons on it. Easy to pull apart. 10 out of 10 recommend. Um, our washer and, not washer and dryer. Our dishwasher, very nice and new. But it's overall so much space, y'all. I have my food in the oven right now. Some lobster pasta, lobster shrimp pasta. Um, over here, we just keep like technology stuff, stuff like that. But all the other stuff is like food items. So this is like our little miscellaneous. Area. Over here is our couch. This couch I got from Walmart, it was a viral TikTok couch that I found. It is not the softest on the back pillow, so we're looking for some back pillows that are soft. Um, but overall, it's tons of space. We can chill on here together and be comfortable. I fall asleep all the time on it. Like, I've been very clingy. Me and baby girl just love to be by her dad ass. So at nighttime, I love for him to be home and I just want to lay on him and touch, like, have some part of my body, like, on him and I'll fall asleep like that on the couch. So perfect for a clingy pregnant girlfriend <laughs> and boyfriend. So I love the couch, it's white. My mom was like, you got a white couch with a baby on the way? But I think my baby girl is gonna keep it clean. What y'all think? This table, I'm thinking we're gonna get rid of it because that area, um, I think we're just gonna keep that area open so we can have more walking space. And then we have our entertainment center. He's going to mount our TV tomorrow. And of course, our balcony out there. I don't need to show you the balcony. Over here is our bedroom. Our bedroom is huge. This was a cellar. Our bedroom and bathroom and kitchen is huge. So it's like the only thing that was really like a little tight was the living room. But it gives what it needs to give. Okay. So our bedroom, you walk in. My mom and sister put this together for me. They came over. They helped. They um, moved it in here, so I was so grateful for that because it probably wouldn't have been, I don't know, I may have set it up. 
so yeah it's up it's up it's up we have our bed of course my pregnancy pillow over there is baby girl's area as you can see she has her own little room it's so much space for her um my boyfriend's nightstand so much walking space um this whole wall right here let me see if i can focus it i have plans to put her her dresser and her little changing pad right here with the mirror and then on the other side we will have her her crib go right there um, um let me show you from this view we got tons of lighting in here yeah so this is all the way in baby girl's area and over there is our bedroom so the closet is nice and big we have to organize our closet and get a washer and dryer because we decided not to do the 50 dollars a month so this is my part of the closet don't mind the mess y'all but i have baby girls clothes the few clothes that i do have my for my cute baby girl and this is the other side of the closet we definitely got to get this closet together tomorrow but it will get done it will get done okay i'll just clean the bathroom let me turn off the fan the bathroom opens up to the kitchen area, which I love. This right here is our washer and dryer area, but we are gonna go look to buy a washer and dryer tomorrow. Tons of space. We just have towels up there and stuff. Like, I really wanna get our organization um, together. So when I get paid, I wanna get like some bins to put stuff in. It's not a dying need, but I definitely want things to look more organized. So our bathroom is gigantic we have so much space in here we have double sinks so my side over here his side over there me and my baby girl right there and we have cabinets galore like it's really amazing these are all my drawers for my stuff all his drawers for his stuff and it just works for us our toilet, the black little appliances, I love the matte black, and then we have our tub, so when baby does come, she can take a bath, because half these apartments, y'all did not have tubs, they had walk-in showers, and I'm like, ain't no way I'm about to be washing my baby in the walk-in shower, because I remember doing it with Nina, and it was very difficult, so. Alright, let me show y'all what she has so far, and then I'll eat. We about to eat, my baby girl. I know you hungry. We gotta go to the store because we're running late, honey. Comment down below. Let me know how y'all feel about it. And of course, decorating will come later. That's not a super huge concern. I do want things minimalistic anyways, but we're definitely gonna get some decorations going into the room and some vibes going, so... That'll happen when the time is ready. But right now, it's time to get ready for this baby to come. So it's all about getting her area together. And then we'll also do our organization. That's the main things. And the decorations will come when it's time. So I have a pregnancy pillow to sleep with because, of course, it's getting more difficult to get comfortable at night. Like, I think starting 23 weeks, I started to get insomnia. And it's hard to fall asleep sometimes, and it's sometimes hard to get comfortable. But like I said, what's been helping me is being right under my boyfriend, and I literally fall asleep like that. So I'll go out in the living room and fall asleep out there versus trying to fall asleep in here by myself. So we have this thing. My boyfriend bought um, this for us. I don't even know what it's called. Legit and Platt. Legit and Platt. But it basically, I can press this button and it'll move our bed up. So I can sit up and watch my vlogs. We can sit up in the bed. It'll go really high too. It'll go down depending on how we want to like be elevated. They say it's good to have your body elevated a little bit when you're sleeping for blood flow or something. But I usually keep it just about all the way down except if I'm watching TV. So is what i got from my co-worker she got a cute little furry blanket 
a cute little baby pink blanket just lay this on a surface if i want her to lay down on the couch whatever i cannot wait to meet this baby she is just so active i can tell she's so sweet and she loves her mommy and daddy already because anytime she hears anytime she feels my hand she will like kick most of the times unless she like sleep or something and then anytime she hears her dad or he kisses my belly she kicks right after it's so like this little baby will be so sweet i just can't wait to see what she looks like i know she's so beautiful this is another blanket that i can use to just lay her down on our area and then this is a ton of washcloths definitely needed that because we never had got washcloths this is our first time getting washcloths she also got these cute wrap cloths for my sweet girl. It says, Mommy loves to squeeze me. And it has like four or five on here. Cute little lemons. Tons of burp cloths. And these are like the bigger ones that I can like put over my shoulder. Um, they're not super tiny. So that's a plus. We'll definitely be using those. She got me a girl mom hat because you already know I'm about to buy. I'm about to be rocking the girl mom apparel, girl mom shirts, hoodies, everything that's going to represent and say that I'm a girl mom and that I got a cute little baby girl and that I'm a mom, period. I'm going to be rocking stuff that say I'm a mom, period. So this hat, I'm going to wear it on Friday because it's like um, drug free week. So we have to wear a hat on Friday to put a cap on drugs. I'm going to wear this. It's so cute. I can't wait. My hair is not done, so it's perfect. For me to wear we got some baby towels some hooded baby towels with washcloths these were some muslim blankets i'm going to use them for burp cloths they're like a little rectangle little square so we got two of those perfect um she also got me some I, we gotta talk about these y'all we gotta talk about the things that I've been like considering for when she arrives, like my boundaries, my um, it's just like mama things, like things that I want to keep her safe, to keep her healthy, um, because it's time to make those decisions. Like even when it comes to my birth plan, I have to decide about certain JABs and all this type of stuff we have to decide about. And we are a holistic family. We are a conscious and clean family. We like to make sure we know the ingredients of stuff the risk of stuff so that's very tricky when it comes to um making those decisions like we have to consider all that and we do our research so <sighs> she also got me some stroller hooks just to hook on the stroller if we are shopping i have decided what stroller we're gonna get the mom push ultimate two this is what it looks like it's either that or I'm highly considering just getting a Nuna stroller and spending the $500 because I know Nunas are so, Nunas are so worth it. They're so stylish and cute, but um, I really want the mom push. So either one I'm really fine with. I hope somebody gets the mom push stroller for my baby shower. It's like $389 and it comes with a bassinet. It comes with the toddler seat. Like it's so versatile. It's it's the best mom push, of course. And then the doona that I want is the best doona, of course, is the Midnight Edition. I can definitely say I like the finer things and I'm gonna have to go back to work, okay? That's what I know I'm gonna have to go back to work, but I am gonna be home with baby, baby girl for as much as I possibly can. So she also got me some masks, some black masks. I'm gonna say these are the M95 masks. They, they may be. In the KN95 mask. And I was talking to her and I'm like, you know what, Miss McKinney? Like, I'm thinking, I've been thinking of like what are my expectations and boundaries when baby girl are born, when baby girl is born. And of course, people wash their hands. But she's gonna be born in February or January, which is peak peak season. I don't want to wish none of that around her time of being born, but I just wanna take precaution and I wanna make sure that, you know, when she does come in contact with people immediately after birth like her immune system is super new like she just came out the womb you know of course i want my family to meet her like on both sides i want them to meet her but initially it's gonna be a low amount of people like my parents 
his parents, and then my sister. I feel like everybody else is gonna really have to just wait until we're ready and feel comfortable. But mask and hand washing when they come and visit at the hospital uh, because my baby's immune system is gonna be new and that's just what will make me feel comfortable. So she bought me some masks. I was even saying like, and even like when they come over, we can do like foot covers, like on the foot, like the, you know, the hospital foot covers. She's like, girl, that's too much. But I'm like, the baby's going to be on the floor sometimes. How is that too much? So let me know what was y'all precautions as a mom and visitors and all of that. Cause that's the whole thing. And just thinking about how that all is going to flow. But it's like, I can't really predict it cause you never know the time is there, but I know for sure I want mask and hand washing on deck and no kissing so i'm gonna go ahead and eat my food and we're gonna head out because we are pushing the time honey Digestion to where I feel like I ha I have food like right here in my throat. So I didn't even take the prenatals last night, but I usually take them every night unless I'm feeling, unless I'm not feeling up to par. To take them. Like when I had diarrhea and stuff, I was not taking it for that one. I think it was one day, but I take them. I take them as much as I can, which is good for my baby. These are the ones that I take. Ritual, prenatal. I have been eating seafood. At first, in the beginning, I was scared to eat seafood because, you know, I don't know, you know, of course you gotta be cautious with it, but as long as it's cooked, I've been eating my, I love salmon. And salmon is really healthy for you. But you know, there's all these like stipulations of what you can and can't eat. But I love some salmon, but I try and only have it like three times a week max if I do have it that often. And then I've had like lobster, I've had crab. Of course it's cooked, but I don't have it like every day or I don't have it three times a week. Sometimes I only have it within the week, but I'm just saying if I do have it, I keep it at a certain amount a week. Yeah, I am messing this food up. Okay. Let's get ready to go. I am going to get me a smoothie. what happens when your belly is growing my shoes feel tired my clothes are really not fitting like that and I don't know what size to buy I'm usually a small but my smalls are fitting 
some smalls are not fitting me but the mediums they're not fully hot like it's just so confusing and i don't want to buy maternity maternity clothes because i don't have that much longer to go but it's like sis what do we do TJ Maxx instead of Target because I just feel like Target I'm gonna spend too much time there. And I'm already late, so Target is really good. Oh, I'm gonna get a bogey. Okay, I was not vlogging what I was getting, but I saw so much stuff. I ended up getting baby Tara some I'm vlogging on my phone because I didn't bring my camera. I ended up getting her some alphabet letters for in the bathtub. I saw this for baby girls, so I got it. These feel so good. Like the material is so stretchy and soft. This was $17. And it's two neutral colors. I could not pass that up. Um, I also got baby Tara. I got Tara this little cute turban headband. Oh my gosh. So cute, I got that. And then I also picked up this. This was on clearance for baby girls, so I got it. It's only $8 and it's three to six months. Couldn't walk past that. And then I got Tara. I got a jumpsuit for me. I'm gonna put this on because the pants, the pants are hurting me already. Uh, this is for baby Tara. She loves headbands. Well, her mom loves to put her in headbands. So I got her this little set. It's 2T. Super cute. And then lastly, I, my sister wants this for her, so I'm picking this up. So I also have one more jumpsuit in there. I need a new case. There's so much stuff that I want to get. But all right, we're going to get this and we're going to head to the party. Okay. All right, y'all. So I am on my way now out the store. Let me just take this bag. Thank you. You too. All right, so I got everything I need. We are on our way. I was gonna change outfits, but at this point, I don't have time. I'm gonna just have to stay in the sweatpants and call it a day. They're not too bad. It's just, I hate feeling anything on my belly that's restricting me, but got the goods. Baby Tara got her gifts, and I did pick up a few things for me and baby girl, but it's okay. Let's go. I just, I just can't pass up a clearance. Like something about clearance does something to me. I just can't do it. All right, I'm gonna put the stuff in this bag, and then I'll vlog once I'm there because I'm running late. But y'all, this sleeper, first of all, this is going to be perfect because she's born in the winter time and even though when she'll be three to six months it'll be like it'll be it'll be around like either the april mayish time or like still around that time where you still will need like a little something on your arm so this is so 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 cute three to six months she can even wear it with a little onesie. That is cute. And then the little, this right here, I wanna get Cloud, what is it, Kite Baby for her? And if y'all know, Kite Baby is like $30 for sleepers. This is two of them. It ain't Cloud ba Cl Kite Baby, but it feels great material just like it. And I know you can get some good use out of it because it's good quality, so got that. I'm happy about those for her. I can't wait to put those in her closet. And I'm gonna bag this stuff. 
All right, see you. Jack, take Tara, my baby cousin. Now we got So I just got home from the party, Tara's first birthday party, and I'm about to get in the bed, of course, okay? After doing anything, I need to get in the bed. But yeah, I stopped and got me a smoothie, a mango smoothie. I'm probably gonna like have that until later on. I don't know what I wanna eat for dinner. I know that I'm gonna make stir fry tomorrow. Definitely not tonight. I'm not gonna make it cause I'm just tired. I don't feel like doing anything else for the rest of the day. Um, but tomorrow I wanna make a big thing of stir fry. I don't know if I wanna do it chicken stir fry. I'll probably do it chicken versus beef, but a chicken stir fry with some white rice or brown rice make a kale salad on the side and prep some fruit for the week. That's the plan, but I'm definitely going to Instacart it because I'm not going anywhere else for the rest of the day. Like, I'm done. Okay, I'm done. I'm going to get in the bed and watch vlogs and wash the dishes and post a video. That's the only thing I'm doing for the rest of the day. But um, today was fun. I'm glad I went to TJ Maxx. They had some goodies in there. I need to take that stuff off the bed. But all right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love y'all so much. Can y'all tell I'm tired? Like, it's like after doing one thing, I'm exhausted, okay? Not one thing, not like first trimester, but after like have, spending some energy for the morning and day, afternoon, you're like, girl, it's only one place I wanna be right now. <sighs> All right, let me go get my smoothie. This definitely does not fit how it used to fit as when I wasn't pregnant. It looks a lot less um, how I like it to look. The holes are like very stretched. But I got me a smoothie. I got me a smoothie. I'm going to put these clothes away. Bye besties.